What do you need to do to get your knee ready before surgery? Oh, that's an interesting question because a lot of it depends on the timing of it. For example, um, if you tear your ACL and you can get it fixed right now before it swells up and everything's uh, completely inflamed, sometimes it's the best to do it right then. But a lot of times today, um, the athlete's not getting evaluated by the doctor for a couple of day or a couple of days or even weeks following the injury. And so when that occurs, uh, the knee gets very swollen. It gets very stiff. The quadricep muscle shuts down, as I said. The person starts to begin to limp. And studies that I've actually read um, showed that basically the more swollen and stiff that your knee is before the surgery, the more likely you're to get what's called an arthrofibrosis. And arthrofibrosis just means that the, the, the joint gets stiff and gets extra fibrotic tight tissue that develops in there which ends up causing a, a contracture or a range of motion uh, shortening of the knee so you can't bend the knee and straighten the knee as far as you would like to sometimes they can manipulate them under surgery sometimes it never gets fixed so they ended up realizing that uh, taking people after their injury and allowing them to get back to their full range of motion, to get some of their quad muscle firing, to get them walking again after the surgery. Not necessarily let them go and play their sport, but to get them feeling pretty good where they can get back up and down the stairs. The better condition that the knee is in before you have the surgery, the better you are going to be coming out and the less likely you are to get your like, a frozen knee, uh, which is a huge, huge problem. You don't want that to happen. You come out and you can't bend your knee at all because it's, uh, it's all downhill for from there and so they really changed the protocols you know this is kind of decades ago actually and where, again, where they, saw, they saw some of this problem as well was when they used to cast people so and you cast somebody for a long period of time and the knee is straight and it can't bend and you take them out of it and they can't bend their knee at all you know that's that's a big problem that's why ACL reconstructions used to be a lot worse as well the therapist is cranking on and pranking on them and now we know we start bending the knee day one day two after the surgery and it makes sense so you know before the surgery, you can teach somebody how to do the crutches. You can show them how to use the electrical stimulation for their quad, uh, their, their quad recepts uh, firing muscle patterns that you're trying to re-educate after the surgery. You can get them started with that at the beginning. You can show them exercises to strengthen their hips and their calves and their posture and their balance and all these things. And the, the better that the patient understands everything that's going to happen after the surgery, the better they're going to move into it. And this is a really uh, good lead-in on this. Uh, coming back to those people that you've seen uh, five times with ACL tears. The first time that everybody tears their ACL, they're very hesitant and very afraid to bend their knee and they won't move and they won't do this. The second time, every time I see somebody on the second time, their range of motion comes back so fast, their quad comes back so fast, they're so much more... Um, they're just less afraid to move and they know what that what to expect so if you can teach your patient that before the um before the surgery so they know what to expect after the surgery they usually have a lot better outcomes and they're able to work harder they're able to understand it's just like anything else you set the expectation appropriately and you're going to get better results